Machine Translation Hello, I understand the previous video shocked some people in the sense of the audacity to claim that a system without breaking in electric generators can be made and to immediately demand money for it. 50% of the comments in the Russian-Ukrainian segment of YouTube are demands to give up all ideas and developments immediately and not to ask for money for them. You damn capitalist. How are things with you? Do you have many inventors ready to give their last shirt and die under a bridge? At the beginning of the video, I spoke about a short circuit generator for the Teppel thermal element heating system. The finances were initially planned to be spent on its manufacturing, but I diverted them to this old idea. However, recently one seeker conducted such experiments which saved not only me but everyone else time and money. The results are what I expected. Ну вот, смотрите, сейчас вам покажу, что этот генератор работает только на низкоомной нагрузке. Вот эта лампочка. 12 вольт, 35 ватт. Сопротивление ее 0,9 ома. Вот эта автомобильная лампочка. 12 вольт, 5 ватт. Ее сопротивление 4 ома. Теперь смотрим. Полоской ход, все как было. Я отключил. Вот. Амперметр, вольтметр. Вешаю низкоомную нагрузку. Потребление. От блока питания тоже. Как бы ничего не изменилось, да, 24 ватт. Теперь вешаю вторую нагрузку, высокоомную. Потребление. И вот 30 ватт. Отключил. 24. Отключаю. Высокоомная нагрузка. Отключил. Низколомная нагрузка. Вот. И если посчитать, то здесь получается 8. Там с, с копейками, да, ватт. Если вот взять эту лампочку и посчитать, здесь намного меньше выходит. И вот потребление. Ну, блядь. I don't understand people who write, where are the kilowatts? Well, make your own generator with 10 magnets measuring 10 by 20 millimeters and get kilowatts. And it's even more surprising if knowledgeable people, who have been in the field for years, say such things. For a kilowatt generator, you need magnets like these and approximately this kind of work. The size of the magnet assembly is over 100 millimeters. Потужні магніти. Що можу сказати про скос? Скос я використовую паз, зуб паз. На статорі є пазик, проходить, потім такий зубчик великий. І оце розстояння беру паз, плюс зуб, плюс паз. І це в мене составляє 25 мм. Тобто це я склонив на 25 мм. Я вже так робив, працює, працює, шикарно працює залипання бомбою.
лице просто в люлечку. Магниты может не по-страшному. Дядька покажет, Боже, поможи. На начале ничего страшного точно не будет. Ага. Елки палки, он гораздо мощнее, чем то у меня был. Ох ты ебический макифон, мать ему я весела. Да, сам удивился. На прошлом такого не было. I think it's clear now what a kilowatt generator is, and not a watt generator, right? Not everyone understood my concept, my idea. I'll explain. When you bring a magnet close to iron, it naturally sticks. In modern generators, this sticking is eliminated by a large number of magnets placed at an angle to the stator coils. The second problem is more difficult. The magnetic resistance of the coil when current is induced by the magnetic field of a passing magnet, the back EMF, slows down the rotor. So, there's no sticking of magnets to the iron, yet there's still rotor braking when a load is connected. In my system, there is no sticking neither to the iron nor to the back EMF. The rotor with magnets is spun solely by its weight. The system is magnetic, so it has a limit and a slight initial sticking. That is, when the magnetic induction of the coil exceeds the magnetic induction of the system, braking begins. To explain in simple terms, initially, there's a catch, either to the magnetic core or to the magnetic system. As the RPM increases, the magnetic induction of the generated current increases, meaning the back EMF grows. However, this EMF facilitates the rotor's operation, rather than breaking it. Therefore, it's better to use a self-regulating electromagnetic system, like those in gasoline generators. When the load increases, the voltage drops, and the controller signals the electromagnet to open the fuel throttle thereby maintaining the required voltage through engine RPM. Currently, I'm demonstrating without the system, a standard 1800s construction generator, without windings. There's significant braking due to the magnetic cores, plus there would be braking from back EMF, if there were coils with a connected load. I've reduced the size of the magnetic core because the longer it is, the higher the voltage and the lower the current. And now, with the system, there's a slight sticking because the system is magnetic, with a bias towards the magnetic core. Now, with the bias towards the system, there's initial sticking, but once it starts spinning up, it doesn't affect the RPM. Many have seen this on their own generators. Some people probably haven't handled power tools if they're focusing on the jerking of a drill during startup and operation.
It turns out this construction has low generation compared to this one. As is known, the magnetic flux in generators closes over a short distance through the magnetic coil. On this generator, the coils are placed separately. You either need to increase the magnetic induction by increasing the size of the magnets, or install rotors with magnets on both sides of the coil, or create a yoke with the coil. The most difficult part of such a generator is mounting the rotor on the shaft, precisely at 90 degrees, to achieve perfect perpendicularity. Otherwise, the rotor will catch on the magnetic course. It's possible to build such a 100 kilowatt generator in a couple of days, given the finances that initiate the machining process and determine the manufacturing speed.